Petrucci from Geeks Life. Today I have an exclusive video for you right here on Digital Trends. I want to show you a team communication app that you probably haven't heard about yet. You may know about apps like Slack that let you and your team communicate more efficiently. This new one is called River. We moved my team at Geeks Life from Slack to River and have been pretty happy with it. I want to show you the differences so you can decide what's best for your team. With both apps, you can set up multiple chat rooms with your team members. We have a general chat for everyone on the team to communicate together. Then we have smaller group chats for only members of the team that the topic applies to. No need to bother everybody when it, it'll just be noise for some of them, right? Then of course, direct messages for individual conversations. Both applications work pretty much the same in this respect. Let's say you want to invite somebody outside of your company into a conversation, maybe a client. In Slack, you must set up a separate team for that conversation or risk them being able to see everything that happens in the general chat. Potentially a disaster zone for clients to see, right? <laughs> in River, this isn't the case and one of the main reasons that we switched. You can bring in a client without fear that they'll see something you don't want them to or you just don't want to bother them with stuff they don't need access to. It's just a lot cleaner. In Slack, you can only have so many messages for free kept on the server, and you have a storage limit for sharing files, which I totally understand. They have a business to run, right? Well, River actually takes a different approach to their business and keeps it unlimited for files and messages for most users. Enterprise level customers are paying for the free users essentially. So you'll be able to keep and access everything you ever sent or said. Now, Slack is great at search, but again, if you can't search a conversation you had a month ago, it does you no good. Where River really shines is this. You can promote a chat to a post or you can create a post from scratch. When it's a post, you can actually have conversations that are housed in the post instead of all over the place. It keeps the conversation together. Here's how we use that inside my team. When we're working on a video, we create a post with that video as the title. Then we can link to the Google Doc that has our script plus all the necessary information about posting it to social media, tags, all that kind of stuff. When the episode has been edited or uploaded, the video editor posts that it's been done. So our editor-in-chief then knows to go in, grab all the appropriate files, and finish the publishing process. Having everything housed together is brilliant and totally efficient. Where Slack wins out in all of this is the notifications. It's fantastic at notifying you immediately when somebody is talking to you, both on desktop and mobile. River isn't quite there yet. On desktop, it's great at notifying you when somebody's talking. A little too good though. It does, in do not disturb mode, it doesn't actually fully shut up. It has a red button to notify other people that you will not be responding immediately, but it doesn't actually stop notifications. And it's finicky about mobile notifications. The trick here is to make sure you're tagging each person or at team who needs the notification on mobile. I expect these are issues that will be fixed with time. I do know that they're already working on giving you some more preference options. So there you go, two great team communication apps, similar yet different. Which apps do you use? Are you considering switching after watching this video? Leave a comment below and use the links above to share this video on your favorite social media site. I'm Laria Petrucci. You can find more of me at geekslife.com or of course, right here on Digital Trends. Bye-bye.